y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement where apparently, I guess, I'm watching Has Been Hotel. Why? <laughs> Was it on my list of things to watch? No, but there is a buzz. There is a good buzz. It's animated. Art looks interesting. It's a musical. It's wacky. It's off the wall. Stephanie Beatrice. Heart, heart, heart. So I like all those things. So let's give it a whirl. <laughs> I don't know exactly what we're getting. I just hope to be entertained. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me on this adventure, especially if it's your first time to my channel. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Have you here? <laughs> Oh, this should be a ride, y'all. This should be a ride. So, uh, please remember, full episode watch along will be available on Patreon. I would love to see you there. And I say, let's just get locked and loaded. I got the big cozy blanket. I am detoxing. I should say rehydrating from being toxed. <laughs> it's been a weekend. So I got my water. I have all of you. And let's get to it. A24. A24. Once upon a time, there was a glowing city protected by golden gates known as heaven. It was ruled by beings of pure light. Lucifer was one of these angels, but he was seen as a troublemaker by the elders of heaven, for they felt his way of thinking was dangerous. From the dust of earth, they created Adam and Lilith. But despite this, Adam demanded control, and Lilith refused <laughs> to submit to his will. Mm-hmm. Lucifer found her and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love. I can kind of get behind that. Share the magic of free will with humanity. Ah. As punishment for their reckless act, heaven cast Lucifer and his love into the dark pit he had created. But Lilith thrived, empowering demon kind with her voice and her songs. Threatened by this. I have a thought. <laughs> that every year they would send down an army, an extermination, to ensure hell and its sinners could never rise against them. But Lilith's hope remained, and her dream was passed down to their precious daughter. I'll make you proud. Charlie? <gasps> oh, shit. Did you hear all that? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I get pretty worked up after an extermination happens. Did you hear from your mom yet? How long has it been now? Not that long. Only seven thousand years off doing something important, I'm sure. All right, come on. Alistair says he has something to show us. So my thought, in those few seconds, I so got behind Lucifer and Lilith, and I want them to succeed, <laughs> even though this isn't good. Depravity of a sexual nature? Of course you do. <laughs> That's why you're in hell. But I'm kind of rooting for him. Welcome to the Has Been Hotel, a misguided path to redemption. Founded five days ago by Lucifer's delusional daughter. Five. Five days ago. As she tries to work through her daddy issues by fixing you. Enjoy riveting conversation with our singular resident. Wow. All this and more at the Has Been Hotel. Your last desperate attempt at salvation starts here. <laughs> Call her right now. Or don't. I don't care. <laughs> we want people to want to come here. This makes it look, um... Bad. The word you're looking for is bad. Vaggy is right, Alistair. Vaggy. What is Vaggy short for? When you showed up here a week ago, you told us you would help run this hotel. Instead, you're mocking us. What? If and you're filming a commercial, can I suggest you take better advantage of the talented celebrity you have right here? Angel, you're a porn star. We are not filming a porn as a commercial. <laughs> if you film me going at it with Mr. Fancy Talk Creepy Voice here, you'd be rolling in participants willing to stay at this tacky hotel. And how does that redeem you? <laughs> really don't want to exploit you in that way oh please baby he wants this to be they want to be exploited to be exploited i got the arms i got the stamina the gag reflex the holes <laughs> i'll be right back i can keep going all night baby that's what she said hello dad 
You actually think I'd be cleaning bottles and listening to you fucks bitch and moan all the time if you wasn't forcing me? I like being forced. Keep that to yourself, Nev. Just because nobody has made it out before doesn't mean it's not possible. Whatever means I can keep crashing here rent free. Crack is expensive. <laughs> So how does Charlie know all of them I'm wanting to know? My dad just called. He said that the leader of the Angel Army wants to meet. He asked if I could go instead. What could they want this soon after... I can do this. <laughs> I'll get heaven behind my plan. Oh, she's wishing big. There's no way I could blow it. Just wait. Something tells me that today will be a happy day in hell. Okay, but just don't sing to them. That bitch is halfway down the street. <laughs> it's all that tease me. What is required, we all have a role. I'm not doing well. <laughs> Obviously. From the porn studio where the cinephiles go, we watch award winning TV, the cocky shows to the kids. As there would be. Thank you. I'm just gonna. Hello. Where did she go? Hello. Is this her pop's place, or is this where the angels hang out when there's they're doing their annual war? Or extermination, I guess they call it. Oh, okay. I'll stop. It's the embassy. Okay, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Totally. That's an angel. Oh, I fucking got you. Did you fucking see that? Good shit. This is an angel. You aren't here. No. You think I'd come down there? <laughs> no. I mean, I love the vibe. Totally. I love your tunes. But it's such a bummer, man. Slow down. We got time. How about we get to know each other a little? Mm? How about some lunch? You hungry? Yeah, why did they want this meeting? We are making a new commercial. We need a camera. Alistair? A video camera? <laughs> All right, let's do this. I've been a bad boy, and I need a big, strong daddy to put me in my place. On the path to redemption. <laughs> Angel, I need you to be less horny, if possible. And Hus, can you maybe not have the script in front of your face? So I was playing this gig, and for some f***ing reason, this virtue chick was digging on the drummer, and it's like, do you know who I am? No, I'm who are Adam. you? I'm the original dick. All dicks descend from me. Oh, that's Adam? Anyway, and we fucked, and it was awesome. Mm. This is Adam. Wait, your name is Adam? <laughs> like the first man, Adam? That means you. Uh, yeah, we're married to my mom. Explain so much. Mr. Adam, sir. Call me Dick Master. I know you are the leader of the angels, and you are a big thinker. A Adam's the leader of the angels? It's a solution to our biggest problem. Oh, herpes. Yeah, that's a bitch. Your line is, we have the cleanest rooms. Got it. I'm ready. Action. <laughs> okay. Seems like you're having a bit of trouble there. Hmm? Oh, yes, they've been there for a while. I do this for you, and you never ask me to engage with this frivolous television technology ever again. Or Charlie can come back to absolutely nothing. Fine. <laughs> Did it do anything to ask? Loot, how many demons did you kill this year? Got a good 275 this year, sir. Whoa! Awesome job, Danger Tits. Found it. Danger Tits. Okay. These are souls. Human souls. Just the same as the ones you have up in heaven. Do they? What if they don't have souls up in heaven? Everyone makes mistakes. Angels don't make mistakes. You really think that? I know that. Hmm. 
you're still here is because Daddy gave you and your hellborn kind a pardon from an exorcist blade. How does that feel? Almost out of time. Guess we should get into it. Oh, okay. I've got a lot to get through and not a lot of time, and I feel like you weren't hearing me before, so here goes. Yeah. If I join you in heaven, that trip disappears. It'll be a happy day. Let me yeah. stop you right there. Oh. Save us all precious time. Sorry, sweetie, but there's no defying their fate, because hell is forever whether you like it or not. Well, he's putting an end to this dream of hers right quick. For those of us with divine ordainments, extermination is entertainment. Guitar solo, fuck yeah! <laughs> Guitar solo. <laughs> I'm going to have to look at this up. This sounds like the guy who was in Beetlejuice and, and School of Rock on Broadway. Oh. I know it's just been a week, but we'll be back in six months. Oh. How did it go? Did they listen? Oh, uh, Ooh. they sure did. Wait, the commercial? You all made a new one? Yeah. Without me? That's amazing. Shh, it's starting. Welcome to the Hasbin Hotel. Oh, oh, oh no. We have just received word from the Heaven Embassy that the next extermination is happening sooner than ever before. We found the body, sir. They've never managed to kill one of us before. Oh. We can't risk them catching on. But don't worry. When we come back, there won't be a demon left alive to pull a stunt like this again. Oh. Where was the commercial? I wanted to see the commercial. I wanted to see the commercial. Haha! -ha. Was Alex Brightman from Beetlejuice and School of Rock as Adam, which was a very interesting take on Adam. Here's the thing, y'all. <laughs> Even though this is the end of the reaction that you just saw, I don't know what this reaction is gonna look like because there's a lot of things that normally, I guess, in, in small doses would fly, but are probably going to need extensive bleeping, editing, whatnot. So I don't know what we'll get, but it should be fun, as is this show. First episode, interesting. We got Charlie. She had her somewhere that screen moment where she's standing on stage in the spotlight, singing her heart's desire. And I, what I'm curious about is why now? For her, why now, however many millennial in that this extermination has been going on, why does she now want to try to save her demon people's souls? And what does that mean? And what made her think she can do that? Like that was a possibility. I'm hoping that's answers that we get later on. Also how she met her friends, I guess, Badgie's her one friend, how she met her, them, her, no, <laughs> and how the others came to be interesting. And what does redemption look like? I don't know, except for the death and murdering, hell kind of looks fun. And I totally dig the love story that they showed us between Lilith and Lucifer. I, I, for some reason, that just delighted me. I don't know why. So what else am I going to say? What are we going to get going forward? So is Charlie going to become victorious somehow? Will she be able to redeem people? And where's her mother and her father? Like, where's her mother? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, the questions I have aren't, I don't understand this. It has to be with, I'm interested in about this world and I want to know more. I'm excited to learn more about this world and why Charlie wants this for her pupil. Yeah, so fun. <laughs> so there we go, episode one of Something New. Thank you so much for being with me. If you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit drop a like. Are you enjoying it so far? Because I do want you with me for this adventure. And in the meantime, as always, please take care of yourselves. If you haven't already, this is your reminder to stand. Try to touch your toes. If you haven't eaten, go eat something, but then you're gonna come right back and you're gonna watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.